The Mississippi Council on Economic Education is a nonprofit, nonpartisan educational organization founded to promote economic literacy in Mississippi. The mission is to meet the critical need of ensuring that K-12 schools and teachers in Mississippi provide quality instruction in economics and personal finance to our young people that is both academically sound and nonpartisan. The Council provides resources and training to public and private K-12 teachers in Mississippi, empowering educators to teach their students how economics relates to their lives as a worker, citizen, and consumer. We operate through several partners around the state. We have centers at most of the major colleges and universities around the state where we bring teachers in, provide them direct uh, education, and then we have uh, other study at home type programs that they are involved in as well. We also have numerous programs that we bring directly to the students like the stock market game and several other uh, opportunities for them to learn directly about economics and investments and, and financial uh, literacy. What MCEE does, the Mississippi Council on Economic Education does, is it really makes practical for students the concepts of economics and financial literacy, of learning more about how financial markets work and how our economy functions in the country. Uh, we do that through training teachers. Uh, the Master Teachers of Economics program is a really good way for teachers to infuse economics into their curriculum. This is going to be one of the most important things that they use is open market operations. This is, going to this be is advanced placement economics. Uh, it's a half semester class and the students at the end of the year, if they uh, would like, they can take the advanced placement class uh, test, which is in May, and they get college credit for it if they uh, make a four or five on the test. The Mississippi Council on Economic Education, basically it allows all the teachers that are in K through 12 free resources, um, professional development that's all year long, and it allows us to be able to teach economics uh, a lot better than what we would normally, uh, probably most people only had three to six hours in high school or college, and then when they get out, they end up uh, probably forgetting a lot about it, and this gives us a lot of uh, state-of-the-art, cutting-edge material that we can use, and that's what the Mississippi Council of Economic Education has, uh, has provided for us. It's made a tremendous difference for me. I was asked uh, about five or six years ago to teach economics, and I'd only had uh, a couple classes in college. I went on and took some professional development, uh, got more interested in it, was asked uh, what, I, what, I, what I like to. Uh, be a participant and teacher uh, Mississippi Council of Economic Education to be able to get an MTE. And I went through that program. Uh, it was eight or nine months. Uh, it was real intense and had a great teacher. And she uh, basically laid out a whole curriculum for us that we can follow and explained a lot of stuff to help uh, make connections for the students that makes it more real life for them. It's got to be probably one of the best in the state as far as providing free professional development. I mean, it's, no, it's not free for them, but they're able to raise tons of money, and we get, we get the opportunities to do this for free during the summer, during the fall, spring, and winter, and it allows us to be able to give stuff, give, give information for students that they can relate to the real world and see it's just not theory in a textbook. I enjoy just the financial aspects in general. It'll help me throughout my life, especially within stocks, bonds, anything that has to do with money exchange or the financial market. It helps me understand the, the way the American economy flows and the world economy flows as a whole. I would definitely recommend it to other students. Uh, I've learned a lot about uh, how it affects me, how it affects politics, how um, economics affects all our decisions. Like, for instance, we had a speaker come in last class period that talked on um, economics and how it affects uh, politics, history, and how uh, we'll use it every day of our lives. I've learned about how economics is very different from what I used to think it was um, and it's a lot about how money flows and about GDP and things like unemployment and things more than just money itself. I like having speakers come in and teach us about, uh, like we have one come in to teach us about the stock market and we've had one teach us about the, uh, the, way, the, the way the economy affects the election that's coming up which I'll be able to vote in and uh, we just learn a lot about the flow of money in the stock market mostly and it's just really great and I've learned a lot. When I first started teaching economics I got involved with the council um, 
I really wasn't sure what I was getting into. The summer before, I started teaching economics and AP economics. I took the Master Teacher of Economics program. And um, it let me realize, you know, I'd probably been lost had I not been involved with the council. And um, that summer, I also took the uh, AP training. So I've been involved with the uh, Economics Council since the very beginning. And uh, the big difference, you know, from teaching other subjects is the resources. Is that when you teach uh, normal classes and you go to uh, professional developments, they have general um, help and so forth. But with the council, it's specifically geared to what I teach. And even if I take a class that's maybe a little bit off what I teach, you get ideas to help you with all the things. Um, maybe, you know, when I take the entrepreneurship, it still helps me with regular economics and AP economics. Well, the stock market game is, is really good in, in getting um, students involved in how the economy works. And um, a lot of students take varying degrees of interest. Some of them just sort of skim through it. But the ones that really take interest, they learn and they figure out um, why certain businesses do certain things and why companies are more valuable than other. They learn that um, sort of strategies that may be a little bit different from a regular stockbroker, but they learn strategic thinking and how to and analytical thinking, and that's the key thing is get them to analyze. What I like about the class is I get to understand more of what I've been doing all my life when it comes to like spending money and buying things. I understand more why people do what they do, especially the businesses, why things go on sale and. Things like that. What I like most about this class is that I'm learning skills that will help me in my future in business, although I don't think that I'm going to be an economics major in college. I think this class is going to help me in the future because it allows me to see how businesses market certain products and how to buy smarter, so to say. It's important that students learn about economics at middle school level because it helps prepare them not only for high school and college, but for life. Um, they, they learn about saving money, they learn about investing money and making money, um, and it just helps prepare them to be more successful in their future. Working with the council has made me a better teacher because they've provided uh, workshop opportunities uh, at no charge. They've provided resources to our classroom at no charge. With a banker in every classroom is a good asset. Um, they have just about anything you need in the classroom and it's at no charge to you and it's available. Most, most things are available online for download and it's so easy to work into the gifted classroom. What I really like is how it's mainly computer based so we get to learn when it's developing and uh, finding trends in stock prices and such. What I've learned about the economy and money is that we, that you get to make connections in, in the real world and how to invest, making money, saving money, spending, budgeting, different things like that. I've learned how to invest in stocks and I like how we can learn about all these stocks and all and like have fun and play a game kind of. And I like the competition and things like that. And I like how you can win money for stuff. As state treasurer, um, there's tremendous value in the Mississippi Council on Economic Education. Um, it is a tremendous organization that does um, work that is just invaluable to our children across the state. Um, there's an outreach, um, they get down into the layers of economics, finance, um, and our children need that. Um, we do our children a disservice if we don't teach them that. And this council is very um, involved, understands the need, has a long-term vision and a strategy because ultimately that becomes the workforce and we want our children to be prepared. Working with the council has made me a better teacher because I know so much more about the subject. And sometimes standing in front of class is like uh, British question time and you get just bombarded with questions. And working with the council and going to all the uh, sessions during the summer and during the years, you're able to answer the questions. And having credibility in the subject is everything with the students. If they don't feel like you know it, they just tune you out. So that's the key thing is, is knowing the subject. Probably in the last 19 years of my teaching, the Master Teacher of Economics has been the best thing that I've invested in my education to help me become a better teacher. 
Managing finances is extremely important because no matter how much money you make, if you don't know how to utilize those assets, those finances, and know where to put your money and know how much money is coming in versus going out, then you probably won't be successful. That's why it's so important for us to, to educate our students coming up, the next generation of our workforce, the next generation of entrepreneurs, to teach them the practical realities of economics and to teach them how they're really not going to uh, escape it when they get out of high school. It's not just a textbook they're going to have to go through. It's, it's a real life, uh, real situations that are going to impact their futures. If you look at the state of Mississippi and every list that comes out, we're on the bottom for so many things. And uh, if our state's going to advance financially and economically, it's got to start with this generation coming up through our schools. We have to provide our, uh, our children the tools they need to succeed in tomorrow's world. Financial literacy is so important in our state. Uh, we need to change that and be on the cutting edge. Uh, truly this council is a driving force and a champion for our children and for financial literacy. So I see this organization continuing to grow to be a vital part of how we change the dynamics, how we change the culture of our state, how we prepare our children to be the next workforce. And certainly if you're an organization that wants to come in and uh, grow jobs, expand, you don't want children that are prepared financially because if they're good stewards of their dollars, they'll certainly be better stewards of your dollars. For more information on the Mississippi Council on Economic Education, please go to our website at mscee.org.